Hello, citizens. I love that. Dr. Bob Flower, Master Pattern Report for Monday, uh, August 13th. Okay, so you would think that the news as of last night and this morning, economically, was so bad that we would see a, a market crash. Yeah, that hasn't happened yet, but China uh, is showing some serious signs of a decline in their economy. Uh, the drought is uh, dramatically affecting our food prices as well as our gas prices because of the ethanol. <clears throat> and of course, gas prices are increasing because the price of oil is and the uh, contention <clears throat> in the Middle East and uh, driving oil prices up uh, along with the boys on, on at the commodity exchange. And um, the uh, bank, uh, uh, there's an article which I, I'm going to put uh, put up was on, uh, I think it was on the Drudge Report, uh, talking about this uh, secret move that the Treasury had put in place uh, as of a year ago, 18 months ago, um, to uh, rectify some um, security problems with the five leading national uh, national uh, banks, American banks. Now, you remember we've been talking all along about a possible banking failure. Um, I think that um, th this has been kept secret until uh, just recently. It was released to Reuters by Freedom of Information Act. Um, and uh, it's, it's uh, a prime consideration in the weakness of um, some of the larger of the um, American five largest uh, American banks. So um, there's more to come on this, folks. Stand by. Today is August 13th. We're talking about the next 30 days here. Um, also, I, 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 there's a couple of things I, I want to go through with you. Um, we have um, we're putting up a white paper which we call on the website, which is called uh, The Economics of Potential. And it's a sort of a, um, a different approach to a, a, a world economic plan. Uh, something, that, um, something that I think a lot of you are going to get a kick out of because it deals with um, one of the things, for instance, uh, is um, principle, uh, principles such as honesty in government. And um, what it subscribes to is a severe and rather harsh penalty for office holders um, who are violating um, uh, the principles, economic you know, insider trading, things like this. Things that we know that are going on, you know, corruption, uh, graft, uh, you know, favorite, favoritism, whatnot. Now, the problem is that we're not taking this seriously, seriously enough, and it's giving these people greater power uh, and incentive to go out and do it. Okay, so uh, my concept is that since these acts do preclude honest people and hardworking people from achieving more because they're uh, they're playing by a different set of rules than we are, uh, that the penalty has to be much more severe for them than it would be for, say, one of us in the private sector, okay? Uh, I mean, the private sector, you can always uh, sue somebody, get, get money, you know, if you, that's the beauty about it. You know, you, if you can't win um, criminally, you can win civilly, right? Um, but you can't do that with government, you see. So we have to... Um, we have to bring that back. We have to make it so severe that these guys will do nothing but behave themselves or see a lot of them get thrown behind bars you know, or, or deported, you know, something really radical, okay? Um, and I think that will bring a lot of uh, credibility and strength back to uh, the American spirit uh, on both uh, the, the liberal and the conservative side because I think that uh, deep down, it, this is just a game, you see, that the people in power are playing 
and uh, you, the conservative, are a jerk for going along with it, and you, the liberal, are just as big of a jerk for going along with it, because it's separation, right? And separation is um, uh, the antithesis of potential. Makes sense, right? So, um, uh, there are a number of the, their security uh, backings that they were proposing in this um, this uh, economics of potential and um, uh, uh, penalties for uh, for violators, like we say in the private sector and, and whatnot. But th it's it's different. It, it, you, you hit them you hit them where it hurts. You know, you don't put them in jail. Yeah, you you take away their rights to make uh, to keep their money. Uh, and you know, in this, in the sense that keep their money, in the sense that um, they can't earn. You know, they have to go out and wait on tables. Okay, they have to drive cabs for a year, two years, three years, four years. You know, whatever it is that that um, uh, that they're uh, they're, they're being penalized for. Okay, so uh, it, it's it's going to be uh, interesting. I think you're, some of you are going to really enjoy um, the proposals there, and. Um, it's something that could catch on and take a look at. It. Uh, okay, let's let's move on to something uh, concerning the master pattern. Okay, one of the uh, one of the programs that we uh, formats that we use with the uh, master pattern is uh, the uh, geometry uh, of um, of economics. All right. Of the market, and what we have discovered, which is has been discovered many years ago by by a gentleman by the name of Gann, W. D. Gann, um, is that the market has a geometry to it. And uh, by the way, we, if you're reading any of our books, that's what our discovery is: is that behavior has a geometry, geometry to it as well. Right? Um, Okay, so so the idea is this: if you take a, a, a move, let, for argument's sake, an up move, big up move on June first, and then um, four months later, there's um, on let's just see, June, July, August, September. Okay, so October first, there's another move. Let's say this is a big down move. Right, that the chances are that within 90 to 120 days, you're going to see another move. Why? Because the geometry of the, those four months is such that uh, in 90 days you're going to create something like this. This is a, this is a calendar. And I'm going to put this up on the, uh, on the website as best we can. Um, so uh, up up here is uh, say uh, June June first, and over here is uh, September. Okay, uh, all right. So so that one move here and another move here is going to equate to a move either here or here. Here actually, in geometry, and uh, we're finding that th that it. it it works that there is a um, a mathematics to uh, the dates in which you can project. Now, here's the difficulty. The difficulty is that these form patterns. So, if you have a positive pattern on June first, two thousand and nine, uh, and then you have the subsequent, let's say, ninety day uh, occurrences. If you have another one on June 1st, uh, 2012, that could interfere, that could generate a new pattern altogether. So you have to find which ones are still in effect, all right? We're not talking about that right now because that is an issue that, um, that we've been struggling with for quite a few years. Um, and I'm sure that there's an answer there. I just haven't found it yet, but we're looking. But this whole thing works so that you take a, you take like a 90-day factor, 
and just keep adding to it or 120 day factor. And when you see that there's a completion uh, every 120 days or every 90, 90 days uh, or a subset every 45 days, um, you're, you're, on, you're on to something. Watch the ensuing 90 day or 120 days and see what happens. And uh, most of the time, almost 90% of the time, you'll see some sort of uh, occurrence. Those of you who are chartists may want to look at this because it, it, it really, it, it's, it's a lot of fun and it's very interesting and it just goes to prove uh, a lot of the uh, theories. Okay, one other thing I want to talk about and um, uh, that is this. Um, I, I don't, uh, we, we talked about, we, we talked about the, the, um, uh, the fact that uh, there's a disparity in, um, a tremendous disparity in income in this country. And um, again, you know, I'm, um, uh, I'm trying to write a paper on this. I'm doing a news article on this, uh, which I will put up on a web, website um, uh, next month, uh, this month, the end of this month. Uh, for the Westchester Guardian uh, newspapers, uh, and 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 that's this that uh, I propose, and in this economics of potential, one of the factors is uh, knowledge, education, understanding. Okay, um, and and uh, not necessarily in that order. To me, the most important one is understanding, uh, and, and it explains why some people who are very knowledgeable just can't get it right because they have knowledge of things, but they don't understand, they don't know how to integrate, they don't know how to synthesize, right? Um, and people, uh, people who, th this disparity is coming about because of the, the fear and ignorance uh, within our society, okay? People have to uh, apply themselves to more basic fundamentals and uh, learn more about uh, not uh, about uh, economics and um, uh, even home economics and not about the who or the what or Lady Gaga or what have you. And I'm not, I'm not putting them down, I'm just saying that there's a place in society for those type of things and it's not first place. And if you think it's first place, that's why you are where you are. Okay. Um, uh, I I I once I, I I had a cocktail party one time, I don't know maybe 15 years ago, and uh, my good friend Mario Gabelli was there, and this woman came up to him and said to him, "Oh, Mr. Gabelli, you're such an interesting man, so successful." She said, "What kind of books do you read?" And he says, "Prospectuses." So and 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 that's that's what I'm talking about. When, when you're dedicated to something and learning something and knowing it, uh, then um, uh, you're, you're bound to grow, you're bound to succeed. So if there's a disparity, I'd say first look within yourself, right? Because, uh, being, because those who are taking advantage of the system are found more in government than they are in, in private, uh, private practice. Um, and, and take a look at the crash of 2008. People say, oh, it was Wall Street, oh, it was the banks. Yes, but who was the major failure laid on? It was the government regulators. And, and was, we're not talking about just one small body or one person or a couple of guys. We're talking about whole departments in different areas. From banking, Wall Street, SEC, FTC, you know, the whole, where were these guys? We, I mean, we know, we know the answer, but where were they? It's human nature to try and take advantage of things. But we put laws in place, we put people in place, we pay good taxes, we pay good money to have these, uh, these systems in place watching what's going on. And they didn't work. They broke down. Government, once again, failed us, okay? So, uh, it, and, and then they turn around and say, oh, well, these guys are bad guys. Well, maybe they are, but you're just as bad 
we're not catching them, not doing your job. And your job is more important than theirs are because you're supposed to be watching for us. We're out trying to make a living. We're out trying to get ahead. We're trying to survive. You're the guy supposed to be watching our asses. And you're not. You failed. And to, for us to go out and blame the banks and the, and, uh, and the Wall Street guys, and, 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 and they're, no, they're no saints. Uh, I mean, come on, I'm, I'm with you on that. But let's get, let's get things straight. Let's be clear about what's going on, okay? Congratulations to the Olympiads. Proud of them all, winners and losers. Great, great showing, especially the women. The women kicked some ass. Man, two to one, I think uh, they were with the uh, with the medal count. Wonderful. Go, boy.